Talafalava, welcome everyone. A very warm welcome to you all. I am honoured to be participating in this farewell ceremony. This is my gift to my mum. Let's stand in prayer together. Heavenly Father, we've all come today to grieve the loss of your dear daughter and servant Anna. Her grace within, her unconditional alofa love, and the importance of family. These are the qualities on the bookmark you would have received with your service sheet. A wee memento of mum. Recipe for a happy family. Combine a family of loving hearts, melt together, add a lot of love, mix well with respect and trust, and gentleness, laughter, faith, hope and joy. Pour in much understanding. Don't forget understanding. Sprinkle with kisses and a dash of hugs. Bake for a lifetime. Yield one happy family. I don't know what happened last week, Nana. Maybe one too many breaths after golf. All of our mothers, unfortunately, have inherited one deafening trait of yours. Yes, the over-the-top, intense snoring. <laughs> Nana, you've mastered the skill, and now your daughters have too. We know that Nana has relocated to paradise, and I hope that there is a golf course. <laughs> I don't think Anna had any fears to the end. Her attitude was when the time comes, I'm ready. A few years ago, when Anna lost her lovely son, Brett, she donated a white rose to the club, which was planted in memory in the garden behind the 10th tee. Today, a second white rose has been planted for Anna next to Brett's, and of course our flag flies at half-mast in her honor. She has used the gift that God has given to her to be a loving and caring person. We remember and are always inspired by the support and strength and care that we feel in our hearts as we remember her kindness her gentleness and that boldness quietly. You know, the thing with Anna, she is a proud, strong Pacific woman. Um, she is Samoan through and through. And, and like anybody said, she did things with dignity and humility. She can be quite forceful quietly.